this is Eric Stinson from Juniper's product marketing team, uh, back for another question of the day in our EVPN host routed bridging series with Wen Lin, uh, one of our distinguished engineers. Welcome back, Wen. Hi, Eric. Thank you for the introductions. Yes, absolutely. Um, so today our question is uh, hopefully a simple one, and it is how does host routed bridging perform data center interconnect? With EVPN running in the data center, sometimes there is a need to interconnect different parts or different data center through EVPN. And we can do that through host routed bridging. So today I'm gonna to talk about a case where for each part or data center, need a data center interconnect, there is a no layer to stretch across the parts or data center. EVPN host routed bridging not only support layer two EVPN routing and bridging and also support layer three EVPN through EVPN type five to interconnect different parts. One of the worker nodes or the compute node running EVPN in the pod will be act as a data center gateway and the CRPD will establish the EBGP sessions between the gateways among different parts. And we're using EVPN type 5 to interconnect parts or data center together and achieve data center interconnect for EVPN. Great. Thank you, Wen, for that explanation. Um, you know, this has been a great series on uh, EVPN host routed bridging. And, you know, I think we've learned a lot. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll have some more questions in the future or maybe this will wrap it up. So thank you very much for your time on all of these. And uh, thank everybody for watching. Thank you, Eric.